Dan the man, Dan Greenblatt, funniest guy on the team. What's happening, man? Welcome. What's up, Seth? Welcome to your debut of Deal of the Week. Yeah, I was, I was waiting for this. <laughs> I'm, well, I'm glad to finally have you. I'm looking forward to having you again, assuming you don't completely botch this, but I have no doubt that you're going to be a superstar on this. 229 Troy Avenue. Nice, nice looking building here. What's the story? Why would, tell me. So yeah, this is a 12 unit building, about 6,000 square feet. Uh, it's actually a lender owned building. They took possession of it uh, about a year ago okay. and hired us to sell it for them. So as with many lender owned deals, there's very limited uh, paperwork. They really just have the one year history of, you know, since they've owned it. Um, and there's pretty heavy arrears. Uh, they're supposed to be collecting around 18,000 a month. Uh, I believe in June, they had about 6,500 come in, um, which has been typical over the last three months or so. So someone buying this is going to have to clean it up, uh, you know, get these tenants paying. A lot of them are program tenants. So the programs are paying, but the tenants are not paying their portion. Uh, but yeah, you're going to have to clean it up and, and start collecting rents. And once you do, uh, at our asking price of 1.85 million, you're at a 9.3 cap. And about this is a really cap. nice. This is a really nice looking building. With, yeah. So the the units um, they're happened? renovated, but they're yeah. I mean, they're they're different levels of renovation. The, the pictures in there are, of course, the best units. Some of them are were renovated a little bit older, yeah. uh, longer ago. Um, so there's kind of different levels of renovation, but, um, but yeah, I mean, they're, they're getting good rents, you know, uh, 1800 for studios and 2200 for one beds, which is pretty much the best you're going to get in this location. Huh. Interesting. Yeah. This looks like a nice little deal actually. Um, why? Okay. So you're basically offering an above market return for the complexity of the deal, right? Yes, yes. I mean, you're buying it again with with heavy arrears, so financing is going to be tricky. And because of the lender on status, they have very limited uh, paperwork. I mean, the, the previous owner renovated it about 20 years ago in 2003 and filed it as permanently exempt. Okay. Um, but of course, they don't have anything from back then and they don't have anything from the borrower. So it's really just their one year of ownership and collections that they have that you can show a bank. Interesting. So one is what's the so you're buying this on a you could buy this at a it's a legal 9.2 cap, right? Based on the legal collectible rent. hundred and seven on the bill's rent, correct. Yes. Yeah. So you wow, that's wow. A legal 9.2 cap. Except yeah, no, you don't you don't see that every day in New York. No one's paying the rent. Uh well, that's an opportunity for someone. So Nice job. Anything you want to share about what's happening in Crown Heights in general over the last couple of months? Uh, so, yeah, I mean, Crown Heights is definitely a, you know, a fast growing market. Um, the area, you know, a little further west of here by Bedford, by Franklin, a lot of new development, a lot of activity, a lot of rent growth. Um, this area is a little further east. So um, this area kind of still has a way to go. I would say this is more of a C location within Crown Heights. Yeah. Uh, but as with anything, you know, as, as the rent gets more expensive in the good areas, it's it's only going to push out to the, uh, you know, the more marginal areas. Yeah, interesting. All right. Well, the deal looks good. Nice job, dude. Thanks. Right. See you next Great. time. See you next okay. time. Man. Yeah.